In the year 2714, a new squad of operatives was chosen by the College of Illusion. These fools promptly went on to frustrate their DM at every opportunity. Today, still working together, because really, who else would work with them? They survive as adventurers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the Second Breakfast Club. Tony Kinney as Eddie Falzoni. Jess Owen as Adira Glow. Michael Cole as Urag. Jesse Wicks as Bill Quiverlance. Nico Rodriguez as your DM. Welcome back to the continuing tales of A Fool's Quest. All right, and we are back. So when last we left our fools, you all had talked to the dean and the council, got Valley reinstated, found out that Valley was going with the Potters to the Divination Nation. The Bells are going to the... Not Conjuration Nation. They were going... Divination. Divination. No, 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 no. The Potters. Yeah. 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 We don't pay attention. And... um, and then you are going to go to New City. Uh, you're going to be escorted by General Cadbury, Cadbury and his 500 men um, that are going to go there to help reinforce that. And then you're supposed to go into the uh, Abjuration Nation to find out what happened to the Infinite Page of Abjuration. You also found out that there's a party tonight because the Potters and the Bells are getting promoted. So you're going to do that. But instead, you cash in a favor that Valley had from Gluteus Maximus and spent the day at his shop. Uh, haggling and getting uh, magic items and random things, both for you, you got some identified, and then you bought some gifts for the party later. And you just walked out of Gluteus's shop, and that is where we left off. Dude, I was just going to say, that recap was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a spe- spectacular when last we left our heroes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you made it easy. <laughs> All right. I mean, it was 10 minutes ago, but still. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan? Party. Yeah, party yeah. down. Yeah, I think we're just uh, I gotta go. letting our hair down. I'm going to go trim my toenails and <laughs> head to the party. I'm going to head over to the lunch lady's house a little early so that I can make sure she brings um, some extra hot pockets, and then I'm going to put my name on them. Okay. All right. I'm going to go see if I can find a scroll of message Adira's brothers, because that was pretty funny. (laughs) (laughs) Invite them. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be fun. Delbert's coming. Yeah, yeah, Delbert's coming. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Your family's nomadic, though, so they're not in the town. They're not going to make it, but... um, That would be hilarious. Yeah. Delbert will be there. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. All right. So... Off to the festival? Or off to the the graduation party? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, you guys arrive to the graduation party. The idea was to come fashionably late, correct? Sure. Mine was, I don't know. (laughs) But is everybody else doing that? Yeah. Okay. So, you all roll in fashionably late, just as the dean finishes his speech with the llama turkey the, the thaumaturgy llama turkey <laughs> thanks i didn't i didn't last time i had a speech typed out this time i did not uh, <laughs> so he's just say and and we wish them the best on their journey and their voyage cheers cheers, cheers to the graduates as, as, as what he says as you guys are walking hey, everybody starts cheering and he's like oh, the gift tables are up here and so they go and they sit down and uh, people start lining up to give the gifts just like they did at yours minstrels start playing uh, some other random group of kids are fighting off in the background somewhere uh, <laughs> you hear one of them you know it's a small girl she's like time to glow and then punches her brother uh, you know she doesn't light on fire or anything she's just you know remembering what happened <laughs> last time <laughs> it took inspiration there <laughs> you've started a trend yeah. you do see they've got tables with all sorts of foods that are up there and they've all they've all picked you know interesting foods um the potters have some of the most bland foods that you've ever seen it's like they've got unseasoned white bread uh they have chicken unseasoned um they've got macaroni and cheese uh, they've got toast and beans. I mean, just really like, yeah, yeah. But they've got some cookies there, one for each one, much like you guys had. Uh, and then, 
Then the the Bells, uh, they've got like really extravagant food. So like, you know, one of them had like, you know, a, a, a turkey, but it was like carved and magically molded to look like a swan. Mm. So it's like turkey meat. It's got like dark, you know, on one side, light on the other, but it's a swan. And, you know, they've got like a... <laughs> You top all this, you just carve she slices. Yeah, board. Yeah. Just a meat swan. <laughs> <laughs> it's made the same way boneless chicken wings are made. <laughs> yeah, and so I mean, they've got you know, like magically processed meat products. Yeah. And face. in the center of their table, that's all this fancy stuff. They have this potato salad that is, uh, you know, magic like glowing under it. And, you know, they've got like. A chocolate fountain right behind it, spurting up chocolate everywhere, but just giant dish of potato salad. And uh, that's what you guys see as you walk into the graduation party. Delbert is there. He's with you, Adira. Um, uh, the lunch lady is <laughs> with Bill. And then Urag is by himself. Uh, I don't I don't know. Did Eddie bring a guest or are you just meeting the guest? Yeah, I was see if Frank's mom's here. I mean, it's his graduation. Yeah, she's definitely here. <laughs> she's yeah. there. She's, see if she's, she's here. here. <laughs> so, with a weird grin on her face. <laughs> oh my! I got a super shiny sequin number. It's like really flashy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you walked up Hot pink. Bra in front of Frank? You forgot this. <laughs> <laughs> you left this. In- <laughs> <laughs> All right, so free reign, guys. What are you doing here for this? I'm are you gonna go line punch. up? Hmm? I'm spiking the punch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm drinking it. <laughs> Eddie, cover me. Delbert and I cast invisibility on you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Hooray! You're invisible, and you've got two giant bottles of, of alcohol more. of liquor. <laughs> <laughs> <Not anymore. laughs> Alright, then I'm gonna get a bucket, bucket, bucket of punch. <laughs> it comes in buckets! <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting one. Mm. Delbert and Adira are gonna watch uh, the kids fight. Okay. And give out some pointers. Yeah? Yeah? You see a couple other people there uh, um, standing off to the side. They're, they're, they're children too, but they're like more dangerous looking children. <laughs> they, they, you know. They, they're sitting there watching and they start taking bets on which ones of the little children they are or <laughs> they are orphans um, we place our bets on the girl <laughs> okay alright raise your feet put your hands into it <laughs> she's quite the scrapper yeah. uh, they break a chair and <laughs> Delbert kicks the leg of the chair over the broken over to the girl so she can pick it up and use it as a weapon. <laughs> I give him a little squeeze. <laughs> I'm so sweet. Side bet on who uses pocket sand first. <laughs> all right. It's all fine and game until somebody busts out an Elmo Dell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're gonna get it now. <laughs> There's so many of them now. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who brought what gifts? I got my gift. Uh, I I brought I brought the hot pockets. The hydra. Got the hydra or the cursed hat? You got the oh, cursed yeah, hat. The hat. That's right. Yeah, hydra seems like it's it's your rights. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Into one after all. all right, we're all set then. Okay, all right, then. so you guys queue up for the gift table. Yeah, yeah. After I grab some punch, yeah, definitely. All right. <laughs> you got some punch. All right, you won your bet. Uh, you won your bet. So, yeah, ten gold off the girl. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the orphans disappear into the crowd to do <laughs> orphany things. Uh, yeah. Wander towards the punch bowl. Yeah, <laughs> they wander toward the punch. <laughs> What punch bowl? <laughs> uh, so you queue up in line and you are there and you come up first to, uh, uh, well, it's all one combined table for this, right? Like the, they're up on the stage and you've got this, you know, big, big table with all of the, with the two clicks that are up there. 
and um, Valley is being recognized. She did get to sit with the Potters, so cool. she's sitting with with their side on their side of the table, hanging out with them. It's her graduation. Yep, yep. Right. And so, Bill, you were the first up to the table. So, uh, yeah. Is it the Potters or the? Or is it the same wine? It's this. So the ta- it's just one big table, I guess. But like they're they're all they're sitting in two different groups. So like one on one side of the table, one on the other. But it's a big line that goes up. So you all queued up to go up to the tables to give your congratulations and gifts, and so you showed up. So you can talk to whomever you choose. I'm just gonna show up and be like, well, we're gonna split these between you guys. We just want to make sure that you're uh, ready for your travels, and I'm really proud of you all. And uh, me and lunch lady, have, I should really know her. Me and lunch lady have brought you these. <laughs> Just call it LL. Gladys. Hot pockets. Probably Gladys. <laughs> She's LL cool lady. Yeah. I'm just going to change her name every time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we brought you these. These are for you. I'm very, very proud of you all. I'm just, you know, just always remember second and third is solid placements. <laughs> <laughs> Those are numbers behind <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention Valley is wearing the beer hat that they test oh. <laughs> the, the, that the Potters test oh. with. She's, she's sitting there tonight wearing that, sipping I'm, on it. I'm just, I am going to stop over there. Valley, you're better than this. You're not <laughs> great, but you're better than this. They said I had to do this. You they look say a lot. Super of cool. I'm going to cast invisibility on the beer hat. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> That's well, six. You got a six? Okay. I rolled a three. Um, you think it's invisible. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you cast invisibility, and it goes, oh, man, we're going to say on Frax close. They just, <laughs> they just, they just, they just all disappear. I'm singing for this family, huh? <laughs> Spell, spell. That's a perfect time for me to come up and give Frack the bottoms that I was going to give to whoever the female was in his group. Like, I think you need these more than, than she does. Uh, so, here. At least you can actually hit him with a finger of death. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you were you weren't holding the rod, were you? <laughs> oh no, I would leave staff. Whoops. Just go back to the old. Right, so, so yeah, so Frack covers his uh, covers his uh, bits and he squeals and ah when he goes invisible, just as a deer pops up. He's like, gives him the bottoms. Oh, put this hat on too. <laughs> Just give him the top. <laughs> the, the hat that changes bits of him size. <laughs> oh God! But who knows what bit? And who knows if it's bigger or smaller? <laughs> oh oh come no! Come up with this yeah. hat, Rick. Uh, oh, so we're gonna do this. For <laughs> yeah. right, we're gonna do this. so. So he's like, uh, thank you. And so he takes the bottoms and he definitely puts. Puts him on over his clothes. Puts because, the loincloth on. Yeah, he puts the loincloth on over his clothes because his clothes are still there. <laughs> and he can feel them. They're just not visible <laughs> anymore. Um, so he, uh, yeah, so he's he's like, okay, um, th- thanks. And then he goes to put the hat on. And uh, the higher the number, the higher the body part. So head would be 12, feet would be one, or two, rather. Ready? Oh no! So this is a six. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Frag just get thick with two C's. He did. <laughs> he's got a big old booty. <laughs> so he's uh, squeezing this, and it just keeps getting bigger. He's got cake. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's it's like full thong mode now. <laughs> it's riding all the way up. <laughs> And he's like, why? <laughs> it's a wild magic surge or something, man. That's, oh, my God. Yeah, it's crazy. You just got to ride it out, buddy. Frack's mom comes up behind you guys while this is happening. She's like, Frack, what are you doing? <laughs> we need to do something about this behavior. Now Doris. is not the time for pranks. <laughs> Get dressed. <laughs> Where'd your clothes go? I think we should ground him. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Mom? <laughs> I'm going to give her a smooch on the cheek and just walk off. <laughs> okay, all right. So that's the three of the gifts. Urag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last but not least. So uh, I can go up to the, uh, the the potter's table. 
Uh, since you no longer have your Hydra, uh, we wanted to give you this to <laughs> say thank you for all your help and to wish you the best. Aw, it's cute. And they start playing with it and they're like, what What happened? Like, does it, and when, it, when I touch it, like, what does it do? Oh, it, uh, it, it dances. Oh, that's amazing. I wonder if I can use this somehow to defeat my nemesis, the evil sorcerer. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> like playing with action figures? <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Zerg! <laughs> <clears throat> I'm my, my, my nemesis named Shoulderwort. Shoulderwort? <laughs> 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 oh. I, I bet he's in the Divination Nation just planning to get <laughs> to get to me. Seems like he'd be... All right, well, th- thanks for the gift. This was really nice. Try the punch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Because that's where I'm headed. <laughs> Back to the punch. <laughs> All right. All right, so you guys have delivered the gifts. Anything else you do here? The party's just kind of kicking off. Everybody, it's the same as what happened before. People are starting to get drunk. There's mm. dancing. There's music. There's games. There's people playing cards. There's... Uh, yeah, just, just everything at, at a big graduation party. Somebody's uncle is talking politics. It's <laughs> I'm starting a conga line. <laughs> You're starting a conga line? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm make going crystal. to attempt to do the first, the first ever full circle conga line. <laughs> Uh, charisma roll. <laughs> and then he's gonna slip out of it and just leave all of the guts. Eight. <laughs> Eight? <laughs> yeah. Just okay. Um, spiral thing. Alright. So, who do you convince to first do this with you? Uh, lunch lady. <laughs> okay. I jump in right after her. Alright. <laughs> so you drinking the punch. bring Prax mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so you all jump into this conga line and you get it up and, and started. Um, and... The conga line is looking so good, right? Because you rolled an eight, so it happened, but something bad happened. Too. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking so good. Everybody's jumping in. The musicians jump in. They stop playing stuff. The dean jumps in. Everybody's doing this. However, you still are on school property, and at a certain point, you're walking around what is reasonably a giant, giant place of power uh, <laughs> that's here. <laughs> And everybody's singing the song because the minstrels stopped playing, and they're all singing and dancing and (laughs) chanting. (laughs) Went up from the ground in the center of the conga line. (laughs) Thought we weren't going to do combat. I thought so too. (laughs) We're still putting another Hellgate. (laughs) Rises this giant monster made of fruit punch. (laughs) It's got chunks of watermelon and muddled strawberry and you are all, everybody just singing and you hear Valley scream and you're like, ah, what is that? And this thing shoots its liquid out toward all of you. (laughs) Our heroes will return after these messages. Hey there, it's Nico again. If you'd like to skip the ads next time, as well as support our show, you should check out our Patreon. All levels get ad-free listening, where you get to skip all the commercials, and then there are a bunch of other features, depending on what tier you go with. Check out the link at www.afoolsquest.com. And now that the commercials are out of the way, it's time to dive back into the foolishness. And I would like a, an uh, evade danger roll from I'm all of you. Try to dive under that head table, but I, oh, I rolled another three, nuggets. so that's, that's four total. So I've been drinking. <laughs> What'd you get? Snake eye. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Snake eye. Oh, roll again. Yeah. Okay, that's a okay. Eight. All right, so so two fails. I got a nine. Nine. Okay, so you're successful, but something bad happens. Adira? Do, I have any Is there, do we add I anything to it? It depends on what, uh, what you're doing to escape. So what are you doing <clears throat> to escape? 
So like if you're so uh, for example, Eddie was diving under a table, so that would have been like okay. a, a dexterity to try and dive under, but he failed. Um, I was jumping behind other people. You're trying to hide behind other people. That's, That's the only probably way I know how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it you doesn't matter. And push it's him a fail either way. I d- rolled a two, and I'm just trying to endure, which makes it a five. Okay. All right. So this thing just shoots out fruit punch at everyone, Please and go, it man. is like a Nickelodeon <laughs> slime fest, only with fruit punch, right? And it shoots everyone. So we're. Oh How does he know he's doing me a favor? I, on 2d6, rolled minimum damage. So That's good. We like that. two damage, because, yeah. So two damage from this to everyone as it shoots everything, with the exception of Bill. Bill was able to hide behind someone. <laughs> um, the problem is he hid behind the lunch lady, who now... <laughs> is not amused <laughs> with your shenanigans. That she's no longer head over heels for you. She's very disappointed that she picked no, such a cowardly not. date for you're the night. You're sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at least I'll be dry. <laughs> um, he uses and abuses them. You know, I just cut this, this seems like a great time for them to be able to prove their worth. <laughs> The, the, the new board. click? Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, time to go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we just bow out. <laughs> this looks All like right, your fight. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you escape. I will let you run away. There are plenty of people here. Like, as, uh, I'm going to cast invisibility on the punch monster. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Good luck, suckers. Just kidding. Hit him, hit him with the uh, uh, prismatic pattern or whatever. <laughs> 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 you can just command it to, I don't know, hold still. <laughs> I don't know if that works on Punch Monster. <laughs> Does I it mean, speak English? Try it. <laughs> um, oh, did we? Whose turn is it? Whoever. Whoever wants to go first. Oh. All right, let me look at the spells here. <laughs> Normally, you guys had like a systematic order, <laughs> like pretty, pretty much. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, turn I would invis- cast turn invisibility in- on the Dira. Yeah, and then Bill would cast his his little thingy. Yeah, I think He's I'm already uh, attacked, so I'm in a rage. Yeah. So casting an invisibility on me wouldn't work, would it? Oh yeah, no, it'd be kind of pointless for you. Yeah, that's true. So maybe I would just. Uh, I'll play you a song. I'll just fucking hit the bastard. I'm gonna play you. Adira, kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Go behind the lunch lady. I don't have my staff on me. I don't think I would have that in this party. Okay, so that's a nine. Yeah, you've always got your symbol on you, so. I rolled an eight to hit. Time to glow! An eight to hit. Alright, so that hits, but it gets to hit you back. Mm-hmm. I forgot how much. Where's my weapon? Oh, yeah, right. You, yeah, D- your weapon damage is D8, right? I D10. Think? D10. All right. So. D10 plus one fire damage for being enraged. Right. Plus whatever Grass. Bill just gave you. It's 44 for the damage, but then I'm. Um, but I got a nine, so there's also a complication. Mm. I get 44, though. Uh, mm-hmm. Unwanted attention or rever- reverberates to other targets affecting them as well. <laughs> 17 points of damage. Okay. Wow. Um, so it's almost it's almost dead uh, just from that one hit. It's got three hit points left, but it gets to hit you back. It's okay. Um, Delver's right there to protect me, too. So. And it also gets 44 points of damage <laughs> to add oh, to it. Shit. That seems like Did he also like... inspire the dragon? He sure did. <laughs> Fucking Bill. Way to, way to make me look good in front of my boyfriend. <laughs> Six, nine, ten. Stop it. Eleven, twelve. You've got armor, right? Sixteen damage. <laughs> she has one armor. Yeah. So see, it's only fifteen. All right, so those two are done. Who wants to go in that <laughs> rag? Yeah, I'm, I'm going in. Ooh, punch. I'll go in and just grapple one of the legs and just start drinking it while squeezing it, doing damage. Okay, you're drinking it. All right. 
Let's <laughs> not let that alcohol go to waste. <laughs> sucking the punch monster from the waist down. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> from the spout. <laughs> you, from five. the tap. Whatever. It's a five. <laughs> All right. We're ex blaster. Yeah, so <laughs> you are. And this I'll one <laughs> is made of the same composition that you spiked the punch bowl with. Yeah. So it has got alcohol in it as well. <laughs> and so you're just getting more drunk. But you cannot drink it fast enough to do it any real damage. Uh, so, so I guess over to Eddie. Does that make it flammable? Uh, pull, pull, pull a lime <laughs> kneecap off. <on. laughs> I think... Uh, Urag, look out! <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll! I would turn him invisible. Because <laughs> I'm drunk too. That's a 10. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I didn't bring my, I'm not, not going to bring my staff to a party. I don't have a weapon. I don't have any spells that do damage. I've got an extra axe. <laughs> I should have turned it. You know, actually, I'm going to turn Adira invisible. Good idea, because I'm down to six points. <laughs> Yeah, I saw her take that hit. That was a hell of a hit. And that I, was a hell of a hit. Delbert's a little pissed. But I probably should. I'll wait for Bill to heal her. I'm going to yeah. turn Adira invisible. And we're going to say other people are hitting it too and attacking it and doing things. It's just it's health pools just for you guys. Like once you're finished with it, then it's done. <laughs> All right. So it uh, again does its splash blast to get everyone off it. Like throw everyone away, blast them all away and back. Um, so it is going to, that's an 11 to hit everyone that's out there. Um, but I will let you all avoid danger again, if you want to try and get away from like hide and get away from it. Uh, not Ureg. You're literally yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, I'm at ground zero. I'm yep. already in the doghouse. I'm going to uh, attempt to avoid danger by distracting the lunch lady so that she doesn't notice it coming. <laughs> So I can use my charisma. I'm going to try to jump under the table again. I'm still laying on the ground next to it. I got an eight. Roll under it. Hey, that's a... You got an <laughs> I got a nine to defy it. Okay. I got a 12 to roll under the table. Okay. okay. So I'm, I'm going to give... A, what are you doing to avoid danger? Well, I'm invisible, so try, I don't know. Seek cover. Behind Delbert. I don't know. So Adir is not successful there. Uh, Bill, you are... Or no, you are successful, but there's a complication. Yeah. Um, Bill, you're successful. There's a complication, too. So what do you do to get her attention? <laughs> I'm just, just going to yell to her and be like, I am so sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. And <laughs> shift her in between, <laughs> between me and... <laughs> <laughs> she totally knows what you're doing. <laughs> she just gets splashed all over her back again. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, that's fucking crazy. No one could have possibly seen it coming. Fucking cast life. <laughs> Adira, uh, yours was successful too, so. Um, you were able to dive away, um, but you landed in a giant puddle of this soupy stuff, and your rage goes out. Your fire goes out. You just... It's a brand it. new outfit. <laughs> uh, Eddie, what did you get? I got a 12. Oh, hell yeah. So what did you do to avoid it? Uh, I rolled Just underneath the table that I flopped down <laughs> next to last time. <laughs> All right. And uh, Ureg, you took a hit for seven hit points right to your face. <laughs> I told you to look out. <laughs> he did. He's <It's> good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, back to Bill. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Adira needs help. <laughs> Don't forget. Adira. Adira, that was an awesome dodge. I can't believe you never got hit. You didn't see that. She's invisible. No, Warrior. before she turned invisible. Warrior. I'm talking about when she got hit. Oh. <laughs> I'm lying. Oh, I You're in the sun. I, I forgot everything is gaslighting. That's on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's... <laughs> Just lying or healthy. Don't worry. All right. So I'm going to... I'm gonna heal her for the 2d8, and then she'll also get the um. She only get 2d4 of damage this time because I'm doubling the healing. Uh, but it's it's a nine, so complication. 
Uh, complication, it's going to turn and look at you, and it's its next hit is coming right for Bill's head. <laughs> well, I healed the deer up for 14. His attention. <laughs> I think he's really mad at you, Bertha. Can I call you Bertha? <laughs> <Stop>. Dolores. <laughs> What he said. <laughs> she says, my name is, and then gets splashed in the back and knocked down. <laughs> Completely interrupts her. I knew that. <laughs> this is the waitress from always <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that takes us over to Eddie. <sighs> I, uh... Hmm. <laughs> you got nothing. I'm I'm gonna make a copy of Bill. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an illusory okay. double. All right. Um, that's gonna be a ten. All right. All I'm right. Cast that and have it run off to one side, uh, the other side of the lunch lady. Sweet. <laughs> and Ureg. Um, after taking that hit to the face, I'm just gonna look at him and use my amulet that I just got. A pity the fool. He hits me in the face with good. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay. So I got I gotta scroll back up For to the calm emotions. Yeah. I gotta scroll back up to the pity the fool amulet. <clears throat> it's happening. <laughs> no it does. Mike's taming the Mike's taming the punch column. <laughs> that, that that you got that a while ago. Uh, pity the Fool Pendant. Once per day, when activated, this magic pendant causes one target within sight to pity the fool that's wearing the pendant. This does not control the target's actions, but instead t- causes the target to become less hostile for 1d6 minutes. It's 2d6 plus your charisma for the roll. What'd you get? Nine. Nine. Okay. So on a seven to nine, it makes the target hostile toward an ally. If no other allies are around, the wearer weeps uncontrollably for the same <laughs> minute of time. Um, so, mm. so it doesn't pacify it, but instead it definitely makes it Uh-oh. go after Bill. Go after Bill, <laughs> full on, one hundred percent. So Bill. it is. Go- it's not going to do an AOE attack this time. <laughs> it will just chase after Bill. <laughs> now, what an undeserved thing. <laughs> now, just use your lunch lady shield, <laughs> <laughs> Bill. I plan to. There's two of you now. <laughs> I need to know high or low. High. High? High it is. <laughs> All right. So it just oh. takes off bolting after or streaming or sludging or whatever. It's after gummy. the... the I assume it moves like Gumby. Over toward... Yeah, it's Gumby. <laughs> uh, toward the wrong bill. And it just brings its full weight down on uh, fake bill and just smashes it into... Right, this dissipates into nothing. But that looked like it would have been a very painful attack, Bill, if it had hit you. I'm going to look at the lunch lady and be like, see, imagine if that was me. See, you'd have missed me. <laughs> you'd feel real bad about what you said. <laughs> Back- <laughs> I could be dead right now. <laughs> All right. Um, I... Uh, that, I I think that takes us back to Bill's turn, right? This thing is still alive. <laughs> I didn't go. Yeah, I think, I think uh, we, yeah, we skipped a deer. <laughs> did we? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did skip a deer. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. 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 Yeah. sorry. 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 Okay. <laughs> this poor <one. laughs> No more hot pocket, no more gravy and biscuits for you. Well, I'm still good. Yeah, fish well, to hit that time. That hits, and there's. Oh, you're not enraged anymore, but D10. 2D4. And 2D4. Yeah, you have to kill it. It's only got three hit points left. How big is this thing? Can I climb it? Yeah, I would say you can try to climb magically somehow climb it. It's made of liquid, so it'd be kind of hard to like... You like jump off one of the tables. Yeah. Swim up through it. (laughs) All right, yeah. I'm just going to run at the closest item that'll give me a good launch point Mm -hmm. off him. It's Delbert. He gives you a boost. (laughs) Perfect, right? (laughs) Yes. He's going to fling me through the air, and I'm going to flip and bring my axe down on his stupid fucking head and just split him in half. Yep, and his brain was like one of those pineapple things, you know, <laughs> like the, the, the just giant pineapples that they put in fruit punch sometimes. He just splatters up the pineapple brain and it just shoots everywhere and explodes. And then everybody cheers. They're like, yeah! Uh, and 
And everybody's drunk too because that guy on, I mean, it's like in there. <laughs> everybody's Everybody. bastard. <laughs> Sticky and drunk. I am, I am dry as a bone, actually. <laughs> yeah, Bill the is o- the only person <laughs> completely dry. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Fresh Hardy. I just get up on the stage. Fresh Hardy everywhere! Let's turn your rags clothes invisible. We really gotta stop eating food around here. It keeps attacking nope. us. <laughs> he runs around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All, all this because you wanted to start a fucking conga line. <laughs> hmm. I mean, with a combination of the place power and the cursed hat. <laughs> yeah. Was, wow. Party to remember for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. You guys see Frack walking across the dance floor with his ass just like <laughs> swinging back and forth. He's got the full hip sway going with it. <laughs> got a big old dog. Knocking shit over it. He's got cake. He doesn't know it's from the hat yet, so he's just. <laughs> oh, yeah, he still got the hat on. It's his number one son. Adira and Delbert mysteriously disappear <laughs> for about two hours. <laughs> Accompanied by a brown chicken and a brown cow. Of course, Nettie mysteriously disappears. <laughs> Seven, eight minutes. <laughs> Bill also disappears. The lunch lady is definitely still there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would smooth things over and bring her back to my place, but I, she's sticky and I don't want that in my new cabin. <laughs> really but the syrup, man. Isn't it worth it for the syrup? <laughs> All right. <laughs> His mom leaves his graduation to hang out with you. (laughs) (laughs) Poor thing. (laughs) That was so heroic. (laughs) Wait, I think Frack's mom is a villain. The army wasn't there now. Okay, so Adira, after her fun time, goes and finds the army. General Cadbury. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just talks to them because we're like really fired up now. Okay. (laughs) All right. Mm. Um. So yeah, so the army is uh, they they're they're you know where they are like there's a specific spot where they train um, where you know they've got like their own military academy that's here it's pretty pretty uh, not informal but it's not as like rigid there it is yeah there, there it is every time <laughs> <laughs> it's not as rigid as what you think like you know the u.s military schools and stuff like that right it's pretty more it's a lot more lax because it's pretty nomadic right these guys just kind of train for general combat you know for a war so his name is general cadbury it is (laughs) general combat (laughs) so yeah you know right where to go so you head there and um when you get out to about where they are, you see a few of the grunts and you tell them you're with the Second Breakfast Club and he escorts you and Delbert and anybody else who wants to go um, up to see General Cadbury. Uh, so who who all is there? I think, I think I'll head that way. I got no reason to stay at that party. No, I'm drinking punch. <laughs> Off the floor. <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> And you're just walking around with hanging out with the rag. We're, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're sitting on that stage with buckets. With buckets. My clothes are still invisible. <laughs> yeah. Well, Every what time, time I spell myself, it's, I just do it again. Yeah. Is it late in the evening? No, I mean, well, I mean, it's kind of getting there. It was evening when it started, but I mean, that chaos. Uh, you guys were probably like an hour into the party, so we're not like late, late. <laughs> well, I just, I, the whole point, I just wanted to go and like talk to some of the soldiers and bring them some of the spike punch and <laughs> oh. hear some stories of battles and whatnot because Adira and Delbert are very fired up. Okay, so. all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, you tell them that they're there and they'll they'll tell you where Cadbury is. But I mean, if you want to skip Cadbury for a while and just hang out with the grunts, <laughs> yeah. do, do some some saucy talk <laughs> with the soldiers. Play some cards. Yeah. Exchange stories. Drink some more. Yeah, there's a yes. ton of punch now. Yep, that's. Get them loud and boisterous and super excited to follow at least one of the Breakfast Club. Yeah, you're definitely. Well, Bill, are you still there? Uh, Not I'm knowing what we're doing now. Well, I'm I'm going to the camp and I'm just going to set up my wagon there and then go inside to unwind from how uh, dangerous the position I was in was. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we really just have to recover from that. It was a long day. 
Okay. <laughs> so you you take Bill's your wagon to the camp. <laughs> say you're with the Second Breakfast Club. They tell you where General Cadbury is. You ignore that as well and just set up your. <laughs> That's wonderful wagon. here to hear. I'm gonna have Don't a nap. tell them we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait here. Yet. Uh, Eddie will come find me when it's time. I'm going to go have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then uh, Eddie, Eddie and Urek, you're still back at the party. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hanging out. What are we doing there? Having a blast. We waited till after combat to split the party this time, at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're just hanging out, having a good time. You know, drinking punch. All right. Yeah. Talking to Eat, Mom. Eating unseasoned food. Yep. Yep. You see uh, Gary Slaughter. Uh, he's sitting there holding a little, uh, a little hydra, a little hydra in his hand, watching it dance. Yeah, I'm gonna go over and slap he's doing him a hula on the dance. back. No, slap him on the back. So yeah, I see, he's missing a head just like yours. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Thanks for not telling on me. Oh, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> Hey, Gary, look what I can do. <laughs> I'll go Hydra. Because <laughs> last time you were here, didn't you blame it on Frack? <laughs> I think you might have. I, I, thought, I thought you did. All right. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, can you do that and walk away? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go I'm gonna go chat with Valley, though. All right. And, uh, and uh, well, she's with the Potters. All right, so I guess I'm not going to walk away. I'm going to chat with Valley and the Potters real quick. Listen. This lady is precious, and you better protect her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's she's been run over by life. I and, get it. And a cart. <laughs> and a cart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I've been teaching her stuff. Oh. She's probably got rituals. Oh. You listen to her. Yeah. Okay. She's wise. Very well. All right. Well. Deadly with a crossbow. I mean, that guy lives. Deadly. <laughs> Especially if they're in a prison cell. <laughs> Especially when they're trapped. Do <laughs> you guys see Frack's butt? <laughs> yes. I think everyone from space saw Frack's butt. I'm gonna go get another drink. <laughs> What happened here? <laughs> I just okay. want to make it up. <laughs> I'm trying not to stand too close to Valley. <laughs> I'm tall, she's short, and my clothes are invisible. I don't want to make it awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just going to wander around and make everyone uncomfortable by being too drunk. And, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too, too close. Uncomfortably close. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell everyone at the party about how you became an orphan. <laughs> <laughs> A couple orphans walk by you and salute. <laughs> I, give, I give them the nod and the secret handshake. <laughs> yeah. Does it, when Eddie gets too drunk, does he start like narrating like old scenes in his life, like a like yeah. old uh, noir detective? Yeah, you know, I was sitting there and uh, and, and Frack walked up to the table. I assume and it's, there he was. <laughs> Never seen curves like that outside, <laughs> outside of a race course. <laughs> I'm just saying that out loud. <laughs> Didn't get that from his mother. <laughs> Didn't get that from his mother. <laughs> and I ought to know. <laughs> oh man. You what? But after a day like today, it was a sight to make your eyes sore. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for the hat. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right. We're moving on. <laughs> so you all do this. You all crash for the night at your different wherever you want uh, to do the things. <laughs> and uh, Whatever you want to do. <laughs> and you wake up the next morning. Uh, in your respective places, uh, somebody in a cart. Uh, Are we hungover? Oh. Let us see. We're going to need some constitution rolls here. Oh, I don't even need a roll. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't drink. <laughs> I rolled a five. Six. Eight. I rolled a two. Six, seven, eight. Seven, okay. Eight. All right. So you rolled a two. Okay. <laughs> Do I need to roll again? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. 
Two and a five. Yeah, you didn't even drink, so uh, you uh, don't have to roll. Or get splashed. Yeah, or get splashed. You are completely You're fine. fine. Yeah. I, I'm still <laughs> going to wake up and come out nursing a hangover. <laughs> Just for the pity. Just have a you, really you bad headache. You wagon and drank wine all night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I drank nothing. I'm just going to come up and be like, oh, man, I'm all so suffering. <laughs> uh, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all in this together. Uh, Bill, when you come out, you do find a case of gold leaf there that is for you. All right. Um, the the rest so Adira and Ureg, you guys wake up with terrible headaches. <laughs> um, but that's really it, like light sensitivity, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, Eddie, you wake up and just <laughs> just puke, man. Like you just <laughs> roll over and roll off my couch. <laughs> yeah. Put my sock on. <laughs> go puke in the other one that's hanging on the doorknob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sure. j- just like a common Tuesday. Uh, yeah, and he yeah. sure is a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> For me? Oh uh, best Tuesday. party ever. <laughs> This concludes this episode of A Fool's Quest. Join us next time for more fun and daring adventure. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to like, subscribe, review, and comment on your favorite platform to listen to A Fool's Quest. Both wagons. Yeah, yeah, remember? (laughs) (laughs) Every time. Before we started recording. (laughs) Try so hard. Just one. Just Just one fell. Just one this time. (laughs) So far. I can't actually. <laughs> yeah, you covered up the microphone and said something away from the mic. It definitely did not pick it up. <laughs> did not did not carry through well the podcast. Need, Fair enough. Insert in, value here. In hindsight, obviously not the call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat>